Look, if you want to uh, follow a sport that has a lot of comedy evolved, just uh, tune into Formula One, folks, because that's where you're going to get all your, your laughs from at the moment. If it's not to do with Ferrari's uh, strategy team from race to race, it's all now about the driver's market. Yeah, <laughs> it's just going off over there at Formula One. And um, after Sebastian Vettel put out a very polished retirement announcement in the weekend or on Friday, um, we heard that uh, Fernando Alonso was going to replace him at Aston Martin and that he would be leaving Alpine at the end of this season. Okay, that's all pretty straightforward, we thought, until today. And uh, we've just heard today that Alpine have put out a press release saying that Fernando Alonso is going to be replaced by Oscar Piastri. That's the Australian world beater that a lot of people are calling this guy, Oscar Piastri. He's managed by Mark Webber, the ex-Red Bull driver. And uh, people have been saying that this guy is the next hottest thing in Formula One. Well, Alpine decided that they'd get a jump on everybody else and put out a press release to say that Oscar Piastri was going to be driving for them in 2023. But then the whole internet went on fire and a couple of hours later Oscar Piastri sent out a tweet saying he will not be driving for the Alpine team in 2023. So this is amazing stuff and as I said you couldn't, you couldn't write a script about this folks. This is just absolutely hilarious. So what is happening and why is it happening? Well first of all it looks like Daniel Ricciardo's position at McLaren might be under a little bit of a cloud despite him putting out a notification earlier last week to say that he was committing his future to McLaren and that he would be there in 2023. Well, it looks like things might be changing, but nothing's confirmed yet and we've got to be uh, adding that as a tagline because the way things have been happening in the last couple of days in Formula 1, who knows what's going to happen on the grid in 2023. So the expectation is we might hear in the next 24 to 48 hours that Daniel Ricciardo is going to be leaving McLaren and there's a lot of conjecture around where he might go. Now that Piastri has categorically said he's not going to be going to be driving for LP next year, does that leave the door open for Daniel Ricciardo to go back to the team that he once drove for under the disguise of Renault? He could be going back to Alpine next year or does this mean that Daniel Ricciardo's time in Formula One is all but over? A lot of conjecture, a lot of speculation, we've got to be careful with it because who knows what's actually going to happen and is there somebody else in the picture? You know we're talking about McLaren, we're talking about Daniel Ricciardo but is there other things that are about to happen on the Formula One grid? I think so, I think this is going to set the cat amongst the pigeons as did Vettel's unexpected announcement at this time of the season and I think we're going to see a bit of a shake up in the rest of the grid so let's see what happens in the next 24 to 48 hours. I suspect there's a lot of people running around with contracts and lawyers and getting all sorts of things done right now as I'm making this video so it's going to be very very interesting. Who knows there might be something going on at Ferrari that we don't know about and we're not expecting to happen as well. So stay tuned on that one. I'm not actually suggesting there is, but there might be something going on there. But huge news today in the world of Formula One. Oscar Piastri has come out and tweeted that he is not driving for Alpine in the 2023 Formula One World Championship. And we're waiting to hear what's going to happen with that seat. And uh, what's happening at McLaren? Is there something going on? Has Zach Brown and his boys been up to something untoward?